these trees did we go on? Should be able to spot it without too much trouble. Lying on the ground along here somewhere. But when I put the backpack back on after we did the food bag hang, I know it was there, so. So I know it's just back here somewhere and we haven't gone very far. I find myself walking faster than I would be otherwise anxious to retrieve the flask but there's no hurry <laughs> it's not going anywhere oh I see it I see it right down there I was gonna say I don't know which direction we came but it doesn't matter there it is Hello, flask. So one of these will run you about $55. So I don't know about you, but I don't have that kind of money. And uh, so I don't, wouldn't want to have to replace this. But even more than the cost is if I'm out on a multi-day through hike and this thing gets dropped, and I leave it 20 miles behind or something, uh, I mean, water is gonna be a serious problem. Uh, of course, presumably I would take a drink sometime during a 20 mile period or go to take a drink. But, <clears throat> but my point is I need to have containers to hold the proper amount of water. I cannot be, I can't lose one. So yeah. We've got to figure out something about this flask. There may be some kind of a, uh, a sleeve, some kind of sleeve or a sling type of thing that would hold it that I could attach to the outside of the pack um, in such a way that I can reach it. It's in there really good. It won't fall out. It can't fall off and uh, it won't flop around too much. But you know, uh, that's part of what can be fun about this, solving problems like that, figuring out what's not working for you and what to do about it so that you get a workable system. Okay, now if we don't have any more mishaps, uh, since I've already eaten lunch and I've already snacked, I think there's no need to stop until we get back to the car. Just keep on cruising. The only reason we might stop is to, uh, well, I, actually, I think I can reach the umbrella if I need it, but stop for, you know, some kind of change in clothing, put on a hat, take off a coat, you know. <sighs> Look at the angle of those trees. So you can kind of get an idea of the slope here. <clears throat> it's a long way to the bottom if you're sliding down the hill. Look at that up there. Way, way up there. Whew. Imagine if you had to climb that grade and just go right up <clears throat> that would suck, but yeah, <laughs> I guess you can see from the fallen trees what the slope is like. Wow. <clears throat> ah, the Quijana Trail. <clears throat> Running along this hillside, pretty cool opposite bridge over there. Cool spot in the trail there, formed by this massive fallen tree. <clears throat> we get to walk under the branches. I'm approaching slowly because 
there are slippery rocks and such that I'm navigating here. <clears throat> cool. <clears throat> Fun. Some uh, rabbit scat, maybe. Small round pellets like that, almost round. The one camping spot I saw might be down here, might be getting close underneath this thing.